I literally just made videos on YouTube channel customization with an iPad or iPhone. So in this video, I'm just going to show you the pathways to channel customization that currently exists as of October 2020. Now, these are the things that you can still currently do from your iPad or iPhone. Obviously, if you're not using a phone or a smart device, it's going to be much more easier to do with a PC. Now, with that being said, you will need to either request the desktop website when you go into your web browser in order to access YouTube Creator Studio or you may either need to uninstall your YouTube application in order for the browser to take you to the desktop site in the first place and not automatically redirect you to the mobile website. And as always, when I'm doing these type of videos, I highly recommend that you don't use Safari, which is the default web browser for Apple devices, and that you use Google or Google Chrome. Now, when I first started my channel in April 2020, I only had my iPad. I still only have my iPad, but I didn't figure out the whole trick in your iPad to kind of operate like a computer so that you could get all the features that you need to get that the apps don't have. And I would have set up my YouTube channel strictly through the YouTube app. Now at that point, I was able to have my channel name and description edited. I could have uploaded the channel art and the channel icon. Now recently youtube has made some changes where they are restricting the amount of customization you are able to do from an apple device or an android device and they are going to be removing a lot of the features that you are able to do not that there were many in the first place but it's going to be even less so as of right now all you are able to do is change your channel name your channel description and your icon or profile picture you can no longer update your channel banner from the youtube app and that's all you could basically do and in order to do that you just go into the app you click on your icon and you click on your channel and then you click the little settings icon and from there you'll be able to make those three measly changes that i talked about earlier now the second way that you were able to customize in the past that has now been eradicated for lack of a better word is that you could have gone on your youtube channel on the desktop site version from your web browser on your iPad so that your channel displays as it would if you had opened it up on a computer and when you click on your channel from there you would see this blue button that says customize channel and you would have been able to do all the customization that you would have required to make your channel look you know attractive but when you click on that button it redirects you to the channel customization tab within YouTube Creator Studio now let's talk about YouTube Creator Studio again in order to get access to that you have to request the desktop site and open it up in the Google Chrome browser so that you can have access to the YouTube Creator Studio and all the customizations. You cannot do this with the YouTube Studio app. You don't have that functionality. In the YouTube Creator Studio desktop site, now we have a tab that says customization. Now, before they added this tab, you would have to go into the settings tab and you would have had the basic info and the advanced settings. 
now what is available under the basic info right now is just your channel name your channel location and your channel keywords they have removed the link that would have said customized channel and that used to take you to your youtube channel the desktop version so that you could click the blue button that i talked about earlier in order to customize your channel that is no longer there because they have now added it as a new tab within creator studio itself the other things that you're able to do under advanced settings include stating whether your content is made for kids and whether you want to display your subscriber count and i believe under these settings prior you were able to add your branding watermark for each video that you publish to youtube that has also been moved to the customization tab so overall what it looks like is that youtube is trying to move away from enabling you to customize your channel to any in any extensive way other than using this customization tab and they're rerouting and removing in order for them to push everyone to this one result in the new customization tab under the youtube creator studio when you click on it you have three tabs the layout the branding and the basic information under the layout you can post your channel trailer your featured video and featured sections now in order to create a section you need to have playlists which would then display as the sections on your channel the only way to add playlists now would be to go to the playlist tab in youtube creator studio and click on create new or edit existing and from there you'll be able to go through the same or similar process of creating a playlist and once those playlists are created then you could go back into the layout section of the customization tab and add your relevant sections i go through how to make your playlists and sections in this video here which is now outdated the next tab is branding where you could change your profile pic your banner image and your video watermark now the profile pic more commonly known as your channel icon the banner image also more commonly known as your channel banner or channel art and your video watermark which not many people use but it is still something that you could consider doing to display across all your videos either for the whole duration of the video or one particular section of the video and the last tab is your basic information which is your channel name your channel description and any social media links that you would like to add and contact information in the form of an email address so this is shaping out to be the only way that you could customize your channel going forward in the future and this is something you definitely want to do especially if you're like me and you're just starting out with a device or a phone and you need to make your channel look as presentable as all the other channels out there that are your competition you don't want to be out here looking like an amateur right so make sure you set up your channel as best as you possibly can using these customization features and now you know the pathways in which to get to them and you could watch this video next to see how you could properly lay out your channel just disregard the first few minutes of it and i'll see you in the next video